The BTR-80 represented a significant advancement in the lineage of wheeled armored personnel carriers, APCs, which gained momentum in the 1960s with the introduction of the BTR-60. Developed to replace both the BTR-60 and the similar BTR-70 models, the BTR-80 entered production in 1986 and quickly saw active duty. Drawing on the experience gained from the design and operation of the BTR-70, the BTR-80 incorporated several key improvements while integrating modern technological advancements to meet the demands of contemporary battlefield scenarios. Building upon the foundation of the BTR-70, Soviet engineers replaced the twin gasoline engines of previous designs with a single V-shaped 8-cylinder Cam AZ-7403 series diesel engine, capable of delivering 260 horsepower at 2,600 rpm. The iconic eight-wheel configuration was retained, although the introduction of the new power plant necessitated some modifications to the rear engine compartment, resulting in a raised rear hull line. Upgraded sighting systems, including night vision capabilities for both the driver and commander, were installed, along with an infrared searchlight. The armament was mounted on a redesigned, low-profile turret with 360-degree traverse and a 60-plus degree elevation, enabling engagement of low-flying aircraft and targets on sloped terrain. The primary armament consisted of a 14.5mm KPVT anti-aircraft heavy machine gun complemented by a 7.62mm PKT general-purpose machine gun. The standard crew complement comprised a driver, commander, and gunner, while the revised fighting compartment could accommodate up to eight combat-ready soldiers in relative safety. The driver and commander were positioned at the front of the hull beneath a shallow glassy plate, while the gunner operated the powered turret system. Passengers could participate in engagements through firing ports located on the sides, three on each side, and front of the hull, equipped with ball mounts. With an operational weight of nearly 15,000 kilograms and dimensions of 7.65 meters in length, 2.90 meters in width, and 2.35 meters in height, the vehicle featured independent suspension and drive power for all eight wheels, offering an operational range of up to 600 kilometers. Steering assistance was provided to the front four wheels, while a centralized tire air pressure system enabled the driver to adjust pressure levels for optimal performance across diverse terrain in real time. The BTR-80 was engineered with a notable degree of self-sustainability, capable of maintaining operational viability even after the loss of two of its eight road wheels. It boasted a top speed of 80 km per hour on smooth, paved surfaces, albeit slightly slower on rough or uneven terrain. Its amphibious capabilities allowed it to traverse calm waters at approximately 9 km per hour using an integrated water jet propulsion system, requiring no prior preparation by the crew. To safeguard the crew against nuclear, biological, and chemical threats, the BTR-80 was equipped with a new nuclear, biological, and chemical, NBC, suite, along with a pressurized fighting compartment. Additionally, 681mm smoke grenade launchers mounted on the rear turret provided self-protection in combat scenarios. While its armor could deflect or withstand small arms fire and artillery spray, it was not specifically designed to withstand direct hits from larger caliber weapons, rocket grenades, or anti-tank missiles. Troop ingress and egress were facilitated by split doors located on the hull sides between the forward and rear wheel pairings. Each door consisted of a horizontal split, with the upper portion opening forwards and the lower portion folding down to serve as a step. A third door section along the hull roof could flip upwards for increased headroom and rapid insertion slash extraction of personnel. In service, the BTR-80 earned accolades from the Red Army, demonstrating off-road performance comparable to tracked vehicle systems and excellent on-road capabilities. While it may have lacked in protection and firepower compared to specialized platforms, its mobility and speed compensated for these limitations. Its success led to adoption by numerous national armies worldwide, including Ukraine, which further developed indigenous variants to enhance their mobile army units. The adaptable BTR-80 chassis facilitated the integration of various armament types and its flexibility allowed for multiple battlefield roles, such as command vehicle, battlefield ambulance, signals vehicle, and mobile communication station. The introduction of the UMZ-238M2 engine in 1993 further improved the capabilities of the BTR-80 line. As of the latest data available, over 5,000 BTR-80s have been commissioned by 35 countries.